Welcome to History of Health Information Technology in the U.S., Evolution of Nursing Informatics and HIT Tools Used by Nursing. This lecture provides an overview of the history of nursing informatics. We will begin by briefly characterizing the nursing profession. Next, we will describe some of the key elements of the nursing process and discuss why these elements lend themselves well to automation. We will then trace the use of informatics in nursing practice through time. The objectives for this unit, Evolution of Nursing Informatics and HIT Tools Used by Nursing, are to discuss how health IT or HIT tools have evolved to support the practice of nursing, list common nursing HIT applications, and describe how they have evolved over time, describe the evolving role of nurse informaticists in healthcare organizations. Nurses represent the largest health profession. Nurses work in virtually all settings where patient care is received. This includes both inpatient and outpatient settings, as well as long-term care, hospice, public health, and emergency settings, to name just a few. In addition to providing direct nursing services in a hospital setting, nurses, by virtue of their training and responsibilities, are the coordinators of each patient's care. The nursing process, a philosophy common to all nursing professionals, includes assessment, nursing diagnosis, identification of expected outcomes and treatment planning, implementation of treatment, and evaluation of patient status. Each of these steps of nursing process supports physically interacting with the patient as well as managing the patient's needs. Thus, information management is integrated into everything that nurses routinely do. Moreover, documenting all these steps and the patient's response to all of these steps is part of all of these functions. This chart, based on a study by Hendrick et al., shows how nurses spend their time. In addition to patient assessment, other important responsibilities of nurses include medication administration, care coordination, and patient care activities. However, as can be seen, the largest portion of a nurse's time, more than one-third of his or her time, is spent on documentation. Some even estimate that nurses spend as much as 50% of their time on documentation. Many of these activities lend themselves well to automation. In fact, some of these activities, when automated, bring synergies to the nursing process. For example, computerized nursing documentation allows nurses to better manage and track the care processes, focusing on improving outcomes by implementing appropriate nursing care for identified problems. Let's begin our study of the history of nursing informatics by tracking the definition of nursing informatics over time. The American Nurses Association defined nursing informatics as the specialty that integrates nursing science, computer science, and information science in identifying, collecting, processing, and managing data and information to support nursing practice, administration, education, research, and the expansion of nursing knowledge. Underlined on the slide are the key words of this definition. Specifically, at the heart of this definition is identifying, collecting, and processing of information. This definition is from 1994. 
By 2001, the American Nurses Association updated its definition to focus more on informatics for the support of patients, nurses, and other providers in their decision-making. You can see the expanded role nursing informatics was having by moving from managing data per the 1994 definition to utilizing information for improved decision-making. An even more recent definition from the American Nurses Association takes the role of nursing informatics one step further. Now, the focus is on managing and communicating data for improved information, knowledge, and wisdom in the practice of nursing. One can argue that nursing has always been in the business of processing information. In fact, in 1857, a pioneering nurse named Florence Nightingale compiled and processed data in an effort to advocate for appropriate nursing and medical protocols. However, in more recent history, nurses have been involved in informatics since the 1960s. According to a textbook on the history of medical informatics by Colin, nurses utilized computer-readable punch cards to check off their observations of patients as early as 1965. The data from these cards were then read into computers at San Jose Hospital, which then served as an electronic record of patient care. In the following year, 1966, nurses at the Institute of Living in Hartford used similar technology to document patient statuses. In this case, nurses used machine-readable bubble sheets, similar to Scantron technology that can read penciled markings. 1974 marks the first time research presentations on nursing informatics were made at the International Medical Informatics Conference called MedInfo. Here, a total of five such studies were presented, including one from U.S. nurses who had implemented an information system at the National Institutes of Health. By the late 1970s, a prominent scholarly nursing periodical, the Journal of Nursing Administration, began featuring a monthly column related to nursing informatics. Despite all the activity around nursing and computer use for the support of nursing responsibilities, the term nursing informatics wasn't actually coined until 1980 by Scholes and Barber. Soon thereafter, in 1992, the American Nurses Association approved nursing informatics as a recognized specialty. A credentialing exam for nursing informatics was created in 1995. Since the mid-1990s, nursing informatics has virtually exploded as a discipline. This occurred concurrently with the development of the Internet and desktop computing advances. According to Thompson, three main forces catalyzed the evolution of nursing informatics. These forces, which are societal and or healthcare industry related, include the general shift from centralized data storage to decentralized data access, the shift from paper charts to electronic health records, or EHRs, and the shift in nursing practice from relying on memory to one that continuously uses information resources. Let's explore each of these trends more thoroughly. The shift from centralized data storage, which was done on large servers that would often fill entire rooms, to decentralized access points such as desktop computers or handheld computers, liberated computerized information for access at the point of care. If we consider that many of the key responsibilities of nurses are carried out in close proximity to the patient, leaving the bedside to go and access a mainframe computer is plainly not feasible. 
As data became accessible in nurses' stations, such as on a desktop terminal or even more conveniently on tablets and handheld devices, the feasibility of incorporating computerized nursing applications became more commonplace. Along the lines of decentralized access, for any bit of information to be available on a computer, it must first be digitized. Thus, the shift from paper charts to electronic records, which is ongoing, by the way, was another important catalyst for the development of nursing informatics tools. If data is not captured or stored electronically, there are limited uses to that data. By digitizing patient information, it becomes easier to access, collect, and act upon data that can affect what a nurse does. Lastly, Thompson argued that nursing practice experienced a paradigm shift from relying on memory to relying on access to information resources. Many of you may remember the Simon Says toy from the 1980s that flashed a pattern of lights for the user to then mimic back. With each increasingly more difficult level, the patterns of lights became more and more lengthy, requiring the successful user to remember lots of information. This analogy reflects the increasingly complex nature of healthcare delivery. As medical and nursing sciences become more and more sophisticated, so has the amount of information that a successful clinician needs to memorize. Given that it becomes more likely that errors will occur when we rely more on human memory, the nursing profession began a shift towards using information resources more actively. These resources include updated information about patients, for example, lab results, and updated information about the most effective treatment protocols from the scientific literature. Nurses went from relying on memory to having to be more wired into the data worlds of their patients. The wired analogy is akin to what a sophisticated smartphone allows us to achieve in our personal lives. Nurses with expertise in informatics are called nurse informaticists. As more and more computerized applications for nursing and healthcare were developed, the role of the nurse informaticist evolved. Today, nurse informaticists play a significant role in educating and supporting users of health information technology systems, assisting in system implementations, and planning for implementations, including the use of workflow analysis. Nurse informaticists also frequently play the role of IT champions, which involves building consensus among other nurses and garnering buy-in for decisions regarding major HIT purchases. Lastly, an important role of the nurse informaticist is making sure that the nursing perspective is represented in organizational decisions pertaining to health information technology. As the largest group of health professionals, nurses are the largest group of clinical end users. Thus, nursing informatics specialists ensure HIT systems conform to the workflow and informational needs of nurses. In short, nurse informaticists can be thought of as liaisons from clinical staff to the IT department on many levels, in system selection, in design, in education, during implementation, and post-implementation. Currently, more and more nurse informaticists are taking leadership roles that go beyond direct IT responsibilities. As organizations begin to realize that IT is a strategic resource that enables the pursuit of other important organizational goals, nurses with expertise in informatics become key personnel to assist in these tasks. For example, the goals of improved patient safety and quality of care lend themselves well to the experience and expertise of nurse informaticists. Likewise, initiatives requiring effective change management become natural fits for nurses with an informatics background. 
In light of the incentives embedded in the high-tech portion of the 2009 American Recovery and Reinvestment Act regarding meaningful use of HIT for the purposes of patient safety and quality improvement, we can expect nurse informaticists to continue moving into leadership roles in this capacity. Let's consider some types of nursing health IT applications that have evolved in recent history. First, automation of documentation is possible with nurse rounding tools. Every day, hospital nurses round on their patients and collect a myriad of information about the status of their patients at the bedside. Similar to the earliest nursing computer applications that relied on punch cards, more modern versions of these software packages may include a tablet that allows a nurse to quickly document the status of each patient at the patient's bedside. By more quickly and accurately allowing a nurse to take care of responsibilities related to documentation, more time is afforded to the nurse to focus on direct patient care. Barcode medication administration systems, referred to as BCMA, ensure that the right drug is given to the right patient at the right time. Earlier in this lecture, we learned that nurses spend a significant amount of time on administering medications, a process that if not carried out perfectly can result in errors that may be harmful to the patient. BCMA systems assign a barcoded tag to each medication and each patient for identification purposes. Just like the checkout counter at a grocery store which can identify each product sold, barcode medication systems can be used to scan a patient's arm bracelet and a drug that is about to be administered, so that the system can document the delivery of the drug and, more importantly, alert the nurse if the wrong drug or wrong patient has been inadvertently selected. Nurse staffing systems are computerized software systems that allow nurse managers to plan for an appropriate level of staffing in their departments. Individual nurses may have differing levels of experience and expertise. Additionally, each hospital department has different levels of patient acuity. That is, some wings of the hospital are accustomed to seeing very sick patients, while others see less severe patients. In addition, the severity of illness in patients seen in any given unit may change from month to month or even week to week. Many changes are also associated with the season of the year, such as certain severe allergies that may occur most likely in the springtime. Nurse staffing systems allow nurse managers to make decisions about what type and how many nurses are needed per shift for each unit. Many times, historical data about patients is analyzed in such a way as to make sure that appropriately skilled nurses are scheduled. These systems can be invaluable in assuring high-quality care. Telehealth is a broad term that includes telemedicine. Telemedicine is the use of information and communication technologies to deliver, support, or enhance the delivery of health services. Many telemedicine systems connect remote patients with doctors and other specialists when geographic or other constraints do not allow for easy patient travel. Such systems typically involve video conferencing and other diagnostic devices including imaging and sound digitizers that allow physicians to examine patients virtually. For example, a telemedicine system can allow physicians to listen to heart and lung sounds or examine a patient's rash or sore throat from afar. Nurses play a key role in facilitating the telemedicine interaction by being physically co-located with the patient and assuring that the patient equipment is properly utilized and achieves clinically reliable readings. Nurses can also play a key role in obtaining patient histories and further coordinating the patient's care as appropriate.
This concludes Evolution of Nursing Informatics and HIT Tools Used by Nursing. In summary, nursing informatics has a long and rich history of applying information technology to the enhancement of nursing practice. The American Nurses Association has been committed to the specialty of nursing informatics for almost two decades. Given their key role on the healthcare team, nurses with experience and interest in nursing informatics have progressively been moving into leadership positions for their organizations on projects related to IT, as well as patient safety, quality of care, and change management. As the healthcare industry continues to move forward with HIT implementations designed to improve quality of care and patient safety, it is essential that nurses with expertise in informatics play a key role to enhance these initiatives. Nurse informaticists will have to interface with chief information officers, other executives, vendors, and other healthcare professionals while continuing to be advocates for their patients.